How's it going, guys? Uh, today, I wanted to go over a saw guy setup. Uh, I know a uh, saw guy season's right around the corner with a uh, hunting season on its way out. And, uh, you know, about February, March, that's when them saw guys really start biting, especially uh, where we're at in Ohio. And I haven't seen a lot of reviews on uh, people setting up for saw guys. So I kind of wanted to go over my setup and show you guys like the most basic way and the easiest way I think there is to catch saw guys uh, aside from casting for them. I like to sit and be patient. So what I have is a is a Rhino Tough rod here. It's a six foot fast action rod, and I'm running that with a 3000 uh, Mitchell Advocate. And uh, I like to use Rhino rods because, like I said, they're they're very durable, and uh, the tip's got some good flex to it. And I don't particularly like to use my bass fishing rods because uh, a lot of times when you're saw guy fishing, you catch a lot of different fish uh, on minnows, uh, carp catfish and just all kinds of stuff and it gums your stuff up pretty quick so for me personally i don't use my bass fishing setups uh so let's jump right into what we use so i like to use these uh eagle claw gold hooks here um i don't know if you guys can see that i generally go with a size one and for whatever reason uh growing up saw guy fishing this is what all the old guys use and this is what my dad uses and I've tried a lot of different hooks and these things for whatever reason seem to stay in the saw guy's mouth a little better than any other hook I've used. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one hook on the top, one hook below it, and a sinker below that, A little these little uh, barrel sinkers here. I'm gonna tie a setup real quick for you guys and show you guys the setup so uh, you guys can have some success and hopefully you catch some big saw guards this year. I'll post some pictures with this video so you can see some of the saw guys that we've caught and uh, kind of how it's worked for us. And hopefully uh, next month when the saw guys start slamming, I'll be able to post some good videos for you guys. But I just kind of wanted to give you a tip on how to get started in the saw guy fishing and have some good luck. All right, so kind of what I do here, I'm, I'm going to try to get close to the camera here, tilt this up a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that line. So... I like to take and uh, get you a loop, a loop like that. And uh, I use my mouth a little bit sometimes, sorry guys. But take a loop and wrap it around the line and you're gonna pull that through and you're gonna have a, your first knot like that. And then I, what I always do is I take and I double up that loop knot so it don't slip on you and then okay so you got your first one and you got all this extra line here so i would say go down eight or ten inches below that and uh tie you another one like i said just like this pinch it make a loop pull back through i like to get it wet so uh you don't get like friction burn on your line when you're pulling the knot tight and again you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. Double knot it. Pull that through. And then uh, again, like I said, these are the hooks that have worked best for me and all the old wise guys have showed me. I'm gonna pull some out here and put them on and show you real quick. Give me one second here. So again, with these loop knots, one of the cool things about them is you just pinch this and uh, you pinch your loop, you slide it through the hole on your hook, which can be tricky sometimes, especially when your fingers are cold. So bear with me. Okay, I got that through. And the cool thing is you just take your loop and you slide it right over the hook and you pull down. And if you want to switch hooks, you can literally just push on the loop and pull it and pull it right over the hook and take the hook off. So I'm going to put another hook on here. Like so. Okay, I got that through. 
And then again, you got your loop like this and you're just gonna take it, pull it over the hook and that's cinched down and um, try not to catch yourself. And it'll look like that. And then you're gonna take a sinker like this or you know, however much weight you need for the day, depending on how windy it is and stuff like that. And you're gonna tie that below everything because you want them hooks to stay up off the bottom because uh, saw guide, they're not necessarily bottom feeders. They like to stay up a couple feet off of the bottom. And uh, they, they actually, they swim pretty shallow when they're spawning. So that's one thing to note. And I always see these guys these old guys, they'll be fishing 10 feet off the bank. And I'm thinking like, there's no way they're catching fish that close to the bank. And them old guys will put it on you some days. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, I just got to admire them and uh, learn from them, you know, but I, I've been getting better with the saw guy. My buddy, Kevin Green, man, that boy can saw guy fish. I'll tell you that guys. Uh, I'll post some videos of him catching saw guys uh, here next month when they really start slamming. But uh, I'm pretty good, but that boy's really good. Him and my dad, those guys know how to do it. Okay, so as you can see, sorry, it's bouncing around. I got the two hooks set up like that and I got my sinker above it. I'm gonna step back a little bit so you guys can see the whole setup here. Um, that is pretty much the setup I use year round for saw guys. I, I don't cast very much. It's fun to cast and catch them. But for me, I, I just love sitting there. Uh, sometimes I'll start a fire and sit at the lake and catch saw guy and catfish and get me a good dinner. So uh, again, that's my setup. Uh, if you guys have different setups that you use for saw guys, I'd like to hear about them and see them because uh, you know, I, I'm a, not the best saw guy fisherman in the world, but I like to think that I'm pretty good uh, at fishing in general. And this saw guy fishing, aside from crappie fishing, has become one of my favorite uh, types of fishing over the past few years because I love to eat fish and saw guy and crappie are my favorite fish to eat. Uh, so thank you guys for watching Fellow Net Outdoors. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and uh, just comment down below and show me your guys' setups or give me some tips so I can be better too. Thank you guys.